According to the World Health Organization College Mental Health Survey Initiative, data tells us that within 12 months of arriving on campus leading up to approximately a third of all students will actually meet criteria for one of six common psychiatric illnesses like depression or anxiety or substance use disorder. It could be a friend, a sweet mate, a classmate, someone in your child's um, circle will have a mental health challenge or illness. Statistics show that one in five come in with pre-existing mental, mental health issues. So we know that this is simply just part of life on campuses. What can we do to help students specifically in this realm? Dr. Rivera, let's start with you. This is such a, an important issue to delve into. <clears throat> Another thing that we know is that people often live in silence with the mental health compromise much longer than needed. It's estimated that that time span between when one first starts experiencing a mental health symptom to when they actually seek help is 10 years, 10 years. Now, what happens during that time, right? Such a long time is that that issue that may have started out as something relatively manageable, maybe it would require maybe some therapy or, or some extra support, but after 10 years of sitting in silence, it tends to fester, right? Just as in any physical symptom that goes unattended to, a, a, an open sore that is not cleaned, right? For 10 years, you're probably going to lose, well, you'll probably lose your entire body, quite honestly. But within a, a number of, of hours, you're, you might um, lose a limb or what have you. We wouldn't do that with a finger, so why would we do that with mental health? And so what, so what we're trying to do is to address these issues before they grow into a problem or an issue that is unmanageable. So that's why it's vital that we are able to recognize, identify and get treatment for mental health issues as soon as they occur. We wanna prevent this needless 10 years of suffering in silence. Uh, so if you happen to know that your child has a pre-existing mental health concern, that should be an indication that maybe we need to investigate, not maybe, but we have to investigate the campus mental health services. And as I mentioned, those can be found in a variety of locations. Sometimes they're standalone um, counseling centers, sometimes they're embedded into a wellness center or, or, or student health. But where are these services? Are there culturally competent therapists available? Oftentimes um, you'll find evidence in the website, um, hopefully in the mission statement, something about cultural competency is mentioned. Um, oftentimes therapists will have descriptions that include their areas of expertise. I know all of us on here have something related to cultural competency on our, uh, on our biographies. Right? Those are evidence that, that they'll give you evidence that your child will likely encounter somebody who can um, work with them in a culturally appropriate way.